Uh, my name is Hugh Martin. I'm Managing Director of Head Resourcing, um, part of the Taranata group of companies. Um, I thought I'd do a small video today um, focusing on a, on a campaign, on an initiative that is part of the Regional Developing Young Workforce um, group. Um, and specifically, this campaign is called uh, No Wrong Path, or to give its proper title, hashtag No Wrong Path. Um, We've been involved in it since uh, 2017 when it was first kicked off and the purpose of the campaign is to really encourage and reassure young people that when they have not necessarily got the grades they wished for um, at school that there is no wrong path and that actually you know life can does work in very strange and mysterious ways and whilst at that point for that young person it will feel like an absolute catastrophe hopefully this campaign will show and reassure them that for so many people that get involved in it the different paths that people take and the different outcomes that they can have in their career even if they they don't get the, the grades they want so i thought i would just briefly um explain my little story um and hopefully it will resonate with some young people uh, and, and like i said reassure them that that you know, it's not the uh, it's not the total end of the world if they don't get the grades they want. Um, I was uh, brought up in the valleys of South Wales, um, working class town called Aberdeer. Um, lots of you know, little terrace houses stuck on the side of a hill, old mining houses where there used to be mines in the middle. There's no longer any mines, um, and was brought up by my uh, my lovely lovely parents who were very nice, sensible people, but they didn't have you know extensive means. They weren't particularly wealthy um, and what they did have was just encouragement for me to, to try my best and, and do as well as I could. I wasn't very good at school, um, I was kind of average, average at everything um, um, but um, I suppose my my main jobs at the time were uh, just school jobs with paperboy and cleaning a bakery um, and I never lasted long in those jobs because I wasn't very diligent and I wasn't really that hard working at the time I was more interested in other things so um, they were my initial uh, jobs I went to college I was fortunate enough to get grades to go to college um, or polytechnic as it was in Derby studying photography uh, photographic studies um, but I didn't do very well at university I think my, my mum died while I was in uni so it probably gave me the excuse that I was always going to have which was I didn't really I didn't really enjoy the academic side of things I was more interested in growing up and seeing the world and throwing myself into music and other things that I was involved in. Um, the long-winded story is basically to say I've not academically achieved anything. I wasn't particularly intellectual at school, but with some hard work and dedication and an attitude of I'll try and help people along the way, um, I eventually got into standard life um, and customer service. I, I was uh, the welcoming face for the school leavers in standard life where they would come to me and I would do some of the basic induction training just because I was a positive, friendly face, uh, not because I was particularly uh, skilled at anything. But that kind of enthusiasm and, and desire to just engage with people and, and um, get on with people has no doubt stood me in good stead. So when people when people don't get the grades they want and they are up against it and they think, you know, they're not going to achieve anything in life, I think it's clear to, to show the people with the right attitude and aptitude People want to help, people that want to work hard, people that uh, try and help others. Opportunity comes to those individuals and, and that's what happened to me. I got a, a job in a little recruitment company and 20 years later I'm, I'm the MD of the company and thoroughly enjoy the the, the role and also the, the company that, that I work for. Now, again, it's not because I was academic, it's not because I was particularly bright, but I did have that drive to, to better myself and to better my you know um my upbringing if you like i wanted to really work hard and prove that i could make something of myself um and i'm sure that's that's what's you know open to everyone um who is now looking at their exam results thinking i'm not going to turn into anything well there will be so many people like me that will have failed college courses failed their result you know their school exams not got the right grades to be you know get the right apprenticeship or the, the right degree course or the right 
scholarship or whatever it might be um, that have since gone on and done some great things in their careers. And with that in mind, I would just, you know, hopefully say that um, there is no wrong path. Um, life does work in strange ways, but those that, you know, work hard and try to help others and show a willingness to get involved in whatever it is you do, um, more often than not, things things can happen for those individuals. So um, best of luck for everyone that's um, had your exam results and um, best of luck for the future. Thanks.